We even have some that have been put on flower pots. Our flower pots, most of them are actually improvised, even though we still have those that we bought from commercially. So in this flower pot, we have a very good herb. And this herb is called mint. It helps us so much when we are making tea, soups, and those kind of things. It's very healthy and it can also help you when you have cold and flus and those kind of diseases. They can easily be controlled by use of mint. So we also have another very beautiful fruit here. This is strawberry. Some berries have already been eaten. But if you look at the the other one, you can see that it is already carrying some berries and we have enjoyed these fruits for the longest time possible. We've improvised the pot as well from just a um, mtungi, a 20 liter jerry can, which has been cut into two and then painted. This one is made from a basin which broke. Instead of throwing away the basin, you just put it into use and you have your fruit so that you can eat. So you continue looking at the flower garden, you can see the beautiful roses. This one is the orange rose. Behind it we have the we have the red or maroon rose and they actually have just finished flowering and you can see the flowers are actually really making the area very beautiful. We have another very beautiful tree flower here called Akea and this was planted by my son he loves it very much it's very beautiful with colors that keep on changing as it goes as it grows colors that keep on changing from red to green to yellowish orange makes the scenery very very beautiful we have another rose here and then the fan which is also making the place look very beautiful the fan is a, a plant that spreads very fast. You just plant a small piece and before you know it, it's spread all over the flower garden. All these are improvised flower pots. In our flower pots, we even tried to plant a popo. We want to find out whether we can be able to eat some fruits from a popo that is planted in a flower pot. So this is just an experimental thing and I hope that it is going to be able to give us some fruit because so far so good, it has not died, it's still surviving. Then, this plant is the apple plant. You can see the buds have started coming out which tells me that soon and very soon we will be having some apple fruits to eat from here. We are just experimenting to see how well the apples can do in this region of ours. This is Royal. We want to find out whether the apples can be able to survive or at least give us some fruits. Rose, I can see already you have, uh, we have seen like uh, three or four different types of fruits here. On your very small garden. Uh, this garden actually it's at the front of the house and it's what you call the the front yard of the house. Now we can see already we have fruits here. There's the purple, there's the apple and there's the uh, passion fruits. What are they called? Those are the passion fruits. We've actually feasted uh, on them for quite a while. You can see the fruits are still hanging. Yeah. And below the passion fruits, there is the grapefruit. Okay. Those are two different fruits. The passion is the one on top, and the grapefruit is the one below the passion fruit. Look at the... The leaves, yeah. The leaves, you can see they are different. This is the grapefruit. Yeah, these are grapes. Grapes are used to make wine, wine. and and stuff like that. Yes. And then there's the passion yes, fruit. The passion fruit. And there are fruits already on the passion. You can see them. Yeah. yeah. So now I was wondering, uh, the fruits and uh, we are seeing this not only fruits in your garden, they are also vegetables. 
like this here. This Tell us about it. Yeah. This is the common name that we use for it around yeah. this area. Yeah. In Kiswahili, they call it in Chicha. Uh -huh. Okay, I may not tell you the English name for Terere, but it's a very good vegetable, uh -huh. full of vitamin C and iron. And uh, we don't need to go to the market to buy our vegetables. Uh -huh. These vegetables are more than enough, and even as we continue, we'll be able to see others. Even we plant, even the merengue, specifically the pumpkins, we pick the leaves. Mm -hmm. We don't allow them to go into maturity to give us the fruit itself. Mm -hmm. We just need the leaves maybe to make mokimo and that kind of thing. Here we have a, an avocado tree, mm -hmm. which we want to find out whether it's going to survive and so far so good. We just planted it like three to four weeks ago and it hasn't dried up so i'm sure it is on the right track mm -hmm. so that is an avocado tree yeah remember this is american tv we are visiting with ross at a little garden here in rohiro kenya and uh we are trying to show case what uh how you can utilize uh space little spaces and make the most of them benefiting uh, by getting food, fruits, and much, much more. We are going to continue on this uh, feature and see what else Rose has in store for us. This is American TV. My name is Moses Kenya. We are at Rose's Garden in Rohiro. Rose, please tell us more about your garden, especially the vegetables part. I can see this massive, quite beautiful, beautiful work going on here. So, once again, this is American TV, and this is Rose Jero speaking from Roiro. Welcome to see our feature. A very small garden, very little space, but it is able to feed the family. You don't need to keep on running to the market every other minute. Here I have improvised the 10 liters mutungi. Cut it into small pieces into two and then planted my tomatoes there you can see the tomato has already started flowering and this is now the second the third bunch of the tomatoes actually the first and the second bunch we've already used so when the first bunch is done we have another bunch that is on the waiting this is another tomato that is also flowering you might be wondering what is this that has been done here these are 20 jerry can mitungis that have been cut into two sections filled with soil and manure and then we've used the jerry cans as pots to plant our sukuma wiki you can see them for yourself they have actually helped us a great deal we are able to get our vegetables for everyday use when they are combined with the terere that we just saw behind us we have enough we have enough vegetable for the small family that we have. And the onions as well, I can see. You can see there are onions as well. Yeah. We call them spring onions. And I love the spring onions because they are fresh and they so tasty. You mean you are an uh, ecologist or is it agriculturalist or <laughs> uh, what have you done actually? Uh, I understand you are someone who's gone to school to college and is this your expertise or something like that actually this is not my expertise no. professionally i'm a chemist i have done chemistry okay. but farming is in my blood okay. i'm passionate about it that's awesome i'm passionate about flowers vegetables i want to see green all around me so even if i'm in chemistry yeah. I'm also so much interested in green, farming, flowers, so they make me happy. So that's actually here the I nature. can say I'm following my passion. Yeah, the nature. Nature. Yes. It's all, always very beautiful with the greenery all around. And I can see there's an orange tree. That is already having oranges. Yeah. Which we shall be eating in no time. Yeah. You can see them. Yeah. I can see it's like uh, there's a uh, pest or something like that. Okay, infection. there is an aphid infection. Yeah. 
Yes, and this one I I am trying to fight it yeah. using some pesticides. I have been trying for the longest time to avoid use of pesticides, mm -hmm. but this one means that if I don't do use the pesticides and I may not be able to get my fruits. Yeah. So, so we can talk to some of the people uh, the companies and their the supply may be very safe pesticides. We'll make sure that this one is uh, seen by some of those people who are helping in agriculture and see if they can advise on what pesticides can be used to, to prevent uh, uh, damage to this uh, beautiful uh, orange tree. That would be very great, very, very great because like I said, I'm not an agriculturist. Yeah. I'm just following my passion. Yeah. So if I get ideas and advice on what is the best pesticide, this is a pest. I don't even know whether this is a pest or it is an in insect. If I get the best pesticide that can be able to deal with this occurrence that you can see on the leaves, yeah. without compromising the health yeah. of the people who will eat the fruits, yeah. that is going to be very, very good for me. But so far, so good. I'm happy because I know that when the time comes, yeah, the fruits, fruits will be there and they will be more than enough for the small family that I, I guess have. your tree also needs some pruning. Yes, yeah, it is agriculturist as yes. I may not be, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think uh, there's some pruning to be done <laughs> as well. Some of us believe in the bigger, the more the fruits, <laughs> and the, uh, the bigger, the better the harvest. But uh, you are, your advice is highly welcome. Yeah. yeah. So here we can see there are other fruiting plants and what is this? This is called Pilipili Hoho. Uh -huh. It's also planted on another pot. Uh -huh. Just one plant per pot so that it can give me a big, big fruit. Yeah. We have several others and this one is a massive one. You can't use more than one. Oh, that is huge. It's a very huge one. You this cannot use more huge. than one. You yeah, can one is enough. see it. It's one is capsicum, enough. Is it? It's called capsicum. Yeah. And here we call it pili pili hoho. This one had so many of them. I'm, I've harvested almost all of them. But the good thing with this is that it is going to flower again and I'll still have more from the same yeah. plant. Okay, I can see this little garden has just about every other vegetable one would wish to use for their for their meals, huh? and it's quite awesome. There's pili pili, there's uh, sukuma wiki, there's capsicum, there's terere, there's onions, spring onions. There's eh? this is beetroot. Oh, the red ones are beetroot. Huh? There's this beetroot. There's spring onions. There's just about everything, spinach and all. So we'd like to talk to the agriculture people out there who are helping small ventures like this to come on board and support Rose and also the community at large in trying to take their game to the next level. So let's see what we have here. So what we have here is a very beautiful flower. Yep. Fortunately or unfortunately, I just love the flower even if I may not tell you what it is called, mm -hmm. yeah, it makes the compound stand out, look yeah. beautiful, yeah. and that is enough. And this for gardening, me. the flower part, I know, I know very well that uh, the vegetable gardens and the pottery program, these are your projects. This is your passion. And how about the flowering, the the planting of the flower, the landscaping, the beautification? Is it you still who has done all this work? Now, the beautification, the landscaping, uh -huh. in this home has been done by Zebra Graphics. Come again. Zebra Graphics uh -huh. are the ones responsible for doing the who are zebra? Who are zebra? How can we get Zebra Graphics? Who are they, really? It is a company that specializes in dealing with landscaping. Uh -huh. They also do interior design and decors, mm -hmm. things like painting your houses, mm -hmm. landscaping, planting flowers, and just doing, let's say, the final finish, uh, finishes, uh, finishing, the final finishing. So, can we of find the, Do you have a way we can contact them or find them or maybe get people to know about what they do? 
Yes. So, yes. How you can, can I get easily that? find them on Facebook. Uh -huh. They have a Facebook page, uh -huh. and this page is just called just like their name, okay. Zebra Graphics. Okay. So if you go to their Facebook page, you'll be able to see okay. the many things that they have done. Uh -huh. This being one of their projects. Okay. So you mean uh, the decor on your house, as we can see, very beautiful. Uh, this work is done by Zebra Graphics, right? That work is done by Zebra Graphics. Uh -huh. And the flower part of the of your compound the is done? The flower and especially the landscaping, uh -huh. the arranging of these stones. You see, I haven't used very expensive stones. Yeah. They told me those stones that you want to throw away, they are broken. Yeah. They, uh, they look shapeless. Yeah. They can actually do a very good landscape. So then you paint them and you have a very good fence around your flower. So if you look at this fencing, you see that these are the stones you can go and find somebody has thrown them on the roadside. Yeah. But Zebra Graphic was able to transform them into something very beautiful, yeah. a fencing which is very beautiful around the flower garden. So all this is the work of Zebra Graphic, including getting the flowers and wow. organizing the shape of the flower garden just beside the house. Wow, this is awesome, this is beautiful. Uh, as you have heard from Rosa herself, this beautiful work was done by Zebra Graphics here, trying to beautify our compound, and Rose went her end and hand and spice by creating vegetable gardens. There are fruits, 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 and more fruits here. Let's get to see what Zebra Graphics have done here, as Rose tells us all about our beautiful compound. Yes. The space yeah. appears small, yeah. but I can tell you, even with a small space, if you have the right person managing that space, that person can be able to make it, yani multiply it. Yeah. Like you can see, Zebra Graphic came and decided that I just need a very small varanda against my house, yeah. and then the rest, the other part, yeah. decided to make it into a garden. Now, my garden, of course, is this side, it's not very easy to grow the vegetables. I think, because I think green energy and the, the carbon credits should see this. How people are trying to utilize space and create uh, what you call uh, green spaces that are also are able to enhance our fight about uh, what do you call it climate change climate change and global warming and global warming thank you rose yes so we have even bananas yep and uh, just one banana is enough for us yeah bearing in mind that the space is limiting yep. but at the same time it is enough for all that we need for this home so we have more flowers on this side we have more flowers this side you can see the tree flower here. Yeah, very beautiful. Very beautiful, coming up very well. Coming up very well. This and is the another passion one. fruits all mm -hmm. the way. The passion fruits all the way. I even have one that is ripening here. I think my cameraman will have something to, yeah. to get out of here. Yeah, this one is ripening already. Yeah, and even this one I'll is also have, ripening. I'll enjoy some fruits here. And this one is also and they are very sweet even when they are like this uh -huh. yeah by the way they are very sweet i for some reason i have a very good bridge yeah that is not bitter it yeah. is greenish but it is very very sweet so i've also put another purple here uh -huh. which i believe in a few months time okay. it's going to be giving us some purples yeah let's let's move on to the other end and now see this is up. not a flower it is actually a an arrow root. Oh, these are arrow roots. These are arrow roots. Uh -huh. And they are, they are arrow roots that have been dug out once, uh -huh. returned again, uh -huh. and they give us the arrow roots that we can use uh -huh. once in a while. So this garden breakfast. is like an exotic garden. There's uh, food for all seasons. Food for all seasons, you can say. Yep. Yes, food for all seasons, that is completely right yep now as we wind up uh, this uh we have seen the beautiful beautiful garden and also more flowers at the back i think this is uh, another sign of the house that we've not gotten to 
you can see more flowers very beautiful flowers i think rose as it's turning out very soon you might be able also to sell flowers to those who want to beautify their homes actually i have a son who is so so talented in propagating mm -hmm. of flowers mm -hmm. he has been using my small pieces of milk papers mm -hmm. and then propagating the flowers that can be propagated like the roses that are full in my comfort and some of my friends come and buy the mm. propagated flowers from him mm. when we go to the other side i'll be able to show you the, the propagated flowers that he has he has in and right this now is very beautiful uh, if ever you want to buy flowers to beautify your compound you can talk to rose she'll give her as our uh, our contact sorry and then we'll be able to arrange how you can hook up with her and get more tips on how you can beautify your compounds and also how you can utilize the small spaces you have uh, in your front yard and your back yard to make uh, some gardens that can produce food for the family and also create very serene beautiful places so Rose as we are moving uh, towards the end of this uh, uh, feature I would like to know a little about uh, the poultry farming and if there is more that you would like to show us okay. uh, before we go to the poultry farming mm -hmm. we are not yet finished with the flowers mm -hmm. this side we have ma mainly the three kind of flowers okay because the space is too small yep. so the shrub ones are not likely to do very well yeah the work again by zebra graphics here i can see and this is now the the work of one Mr. Moredi, one Mr. Master Moredi, Moredi, Moredi. Master yeah. Moredi. Yeah. yes, he's very, he's very, very keen on propagating. Yeah, I can see. And this I encourage him. This Innovation. He doesn't throw away the bottles. The bottles. Yeah. He uses them to propagate whichever flowers he wants to do. Ah, this is beautiful, awesome work. So we have more. More harrow roots. Yeah. In case you do not know, we have more than enough to supply us when they are yeah, well, already good. grown. Uh -huh. So this and is another this is, fruit. Yeah. What is this? It's fruit? called the yellow passion. Uh -huh. And it is. We are still giving it time. To meru. See that, yeah, meru. It's called yeah. meru in Kimeru. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are giving it more time to see that it, uh, it gives is. us some fruits, uh -huh. maybe with time. But I'm passionate about planting. I just plant and let it be. You just plant what you find. Yes, just about I plant everything. And I let it be. Yeah. And so then mostly they don't disappoint me. Definitely. Yeah, mostly say. they don't disappoint me. I yeah. believe even the plants know yeah. the person is passionate. And the passion, the passion in the person. It is true. That yeah. is really now, true. Now uh, the passion, the passion fruits, and the passion of the gardener herself, Rose, as you can hear. Now we are winding up, and I think she'll tell us more, a little more about a poultry farming project right here in a small compound in Rohil, Kenya. As you have heard. Uh, from Rose herself, this work, uh, the beautification work, the design work on the landscape is done by Zebra uh, Graphics. Zebra Graphics, you'll find them on Facebook, just search Zebra Graphics. They will do all the work you need done. When you talk uh, exterior design, when you talk landscaping, when you talk about uh, beautification, interior design, painting, and all hard work contact zebra design you might get uh, in touch with Eston, jero and e will give you more information visit zebra graphics on facebook and you will get all their contacts and info as you may require this is american tv my name is moses kenyo i'm with rose jero here at a small compound in rohiro tell us more about the pottery project rose so welcome to the portrait project. Okay. Yes, I decided that it's not always that you must go to the market and look for the Kienyeji eggs, mm -hmm. which are very difficult to find sometimes. Mm -hmm. And when you find them, they are also very expensive. Mm -hmm. And many times we have a lot of waste that can we can use actually to feed the chicken. Mm -hmm. So in this small chicken house, I have five chicken. Mm -hmm. 
Actually, they were 10 in total, uh-huh. but my family has been celebrating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been celebrating, and uh, that's why now they are remaining five. Uh-huh. These five chicken, I have like three, four of them laying heads, yeah. and one chicken is a uh, is a uh, is a cock. Oh, one jogo. Yeah, one jogo. The one is yeah. a jogo. The yeah. five of them are hens. Eh? Yeah. I mean, the four of them are hens, and the hens they lay the eggs, and four eggs. In a week, day. in, in a, a week, week is like uh, one one crate of eggs. Eh? In a week, you almost have a crate of eggs. Yeah, that is and enough of for the family. They break for some time and then they start laying again. Uh, have you considered like uh, hatching the eggs? Okay, I haven't because I found out that uh, I don't have enough space, uh-huh. so I may not be able to really accommodate uh, so more many. than ten chickens. Okay. Yeah, so I am limited by space, and I need the vegetables. But I you can chicken. innovate. I think this uh, small chicken coop would have another level up there. Oh yes. Yeah, and yeah, that could a make a uh, could create more space. Oh, that actually I can have a goropa for the chicken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they would enjoy that mm, as well. Yes. I think that is now what I should think about. So as we wind up, uh, Rose, can you please face the camera and tell, talk to people who have small spaces and would like to make the most of them. As we wind up, tell them, give them advice and say. You can also ask for any kind of support from people out there, especially those who are dealing with pesticides and stuff like that. Talk to the people, Rose. Yes, welcome people to my little farm in Roiro. I want to tell you that you don't have to have a big piece of land. You don't have to have a big piece of land for you to be able to put some vegetables on the table. To put fruits on the table. So if you look at all the passion fruits that you've seen in this compound, in many cases they are more than enough for my family. So what I'm urging you is that use that little space you have and try to maximize by planting the very many plants that can work in your region. And in most cases, I have come to realize that in almost every region, so many fruits, there are apples, there are passion fruits, I have three tomatoes, all those fruits. You don't need to get the biggest for you to be very happy, even a small passion fruit like this one it will give you the same nutrients that the very big one will give you so utilize your small space even if you're in town do not be think that in town we only need to put the cement on our floors and we keep on washing and all that put some portion aside and do a little bit of gardening and this gardening will save you the very many trips to the market for example, I take too long to go to the market even to buy onions. To buy vegetables, the ones that are here, I'm not able to finish them by myself. And this portion of land that I'm doing all this on is just a 40 by 80. And my, most of it has been occupied by the house. So the portion that is remaining is the one that is doing all this for me. So this is American TV. Thank you very much for joining us and watching. You are welcome to give ideas, especially on how some of the problems that I'm encountering on my little farm can be solved. For example, I would like to know what I can do when my spinach starts becoming yellow, what I can do when the oranges are infected or affected by the aphids. Yeah, those kind of solutions are welcome. Because like I said, I, am not, I haven't done any agriculture, but the farming passion is in me and it has seen me through this farm. So thank you very much again, and this is American TV. Uh, shukran sana Rose Karemi, uh, mmesikia uh, tuko Roiro uh, nyumbani kwake, hakona 40 by 100 plot, na ameza kujenga nyumba kubwa sana, na ile space ambayo imesalia, ameza kutengeneza vegetable gardens, fruit gardens, and also flower uh, gardens. So. Mtazamaji wa American TV kumbuka kutembelea Zebra Graphics pale kwa Facebook na utaweza kupata kazi safi sana ambazo wanafanya pale. Mimi ni Moses Kenywa, hii ni American TV tukiwa Rohiro Kenya kwa garden ya Rose Karimi. Subscribe to our channels on American TV. God bless you.